Okay, so here we are. 2013 Chevy Volt. If you'll notice, it's plugged up here to my 220 electric outlet. That's my charger. Um, does a pretty decent job. And if you'll notice, I just put it on just a sawhorse just because it was quick, simple, and easy. Ran the cord out the window. Um, they tell you not to use a, uh, a, a dryer plug. Uh, but hold on a second. Got a motorcycle going by. So anyways, uh, got a 220 electric. They tell you not to use a dryer plug, but I did anyways. Um, all I did was run some Romax to the bottom of the charger, run it over, put a plug on the end of it, plugged it into my dryer outlet. Works like a dream. And again, I put it on a sawhorse because it was simple, easy, fast. And then I just plug it into the car. Well, I've been using it this way for about six months now. Haven't had a slightest bit of problems. So today... I'm going to go over just on real quick how to change your own spark plugs. It's really not a big deal. It's super simple, super easy, and I don't take my vehicle to a dealership. Um, if you'll notice, it's just a little star head bolt. Not a big deal. Here's what I use to actually get rid of it. Um, it's not a, You don't have to use a Torx. This is an Allen head, and it works fine. Um, I've already loosened these up. There's two screws here. Two bolts hold it in then you've got your air intake I've already loosened it you got a hose in the back here I'm assuming it's going to my EGR um, anyways it's here and then if you look I've already loosened the bolts to the uh, top of the coil pack take the screw out take this it's already loose and it's the same Allen head that fits this Okay, and then all you do is simply lift up here. Give it a good solid tug. You know, pull it back and forth a couple times. And if we look right here, look what just came out. So it came out of the whole plug boot and all. So not a big deal. Got to reach in here probably have to get my pliers pull it out just the boot cover and it goes off the end of that anyways there's your plugs there's four of them take them loose pull them out put in the new ones put this cover back on this is your coil pack this is the ignition coil uh, and then Put it back over top of your batteries, or I'm sorry, over your plugs. Again, there's your plugs. There's four of them in there. All you do is simply pull out the four plugs, place them, put the coil pack back on, put your air, back, air box back on, make sure that you tighten your hoses back on here good and tight, and you just change your own plugs. Uh, Chevy, I believe, wanted $160 at my local dealer to do the plugs, and I basically told him to go hop in a lake. So... Now you know how to do your own plugs. Um, my car's got 107,000 miles on it. And I should be done here in about another 15, 20 minutes max. And uh, this whole project shouldn't take you more than about 30 minutes to do. So don't let the dealer rip you off. Do it yourself. You're good to go. I will be doing more down the road. So subscribe, like the channel. I appreciate it. Have a good day.